Hello again, I am The Video Geek, and this is yet another video review. Today I'll be looking at the AMD T-Bird 1.2 GHz CPU. Remember folks, these videos are completely unedited, and these are only my opinions. Okay, so what you're looking at here is the 1.2 GHz T-Bird. This is the new uh, T-Bird, the new CPU from AMD. It, uh, it has the 1.8 micron technology on this chip. And uh, something I did notice on this chip, the L1 bridge is actually unlocked. So I don't have to do any pencil work at all. So if you have a closer look here, as you can see, it's the 2000, sorry, 1200 megahertz CPU. I'm hoping to get um, a great overclock from this CPU, especially with the KT7 RAID uh, motherboard the Ape from ABIT with the voltage mob that I have done. So let's now pop this baby in and uh, see what she can do. Okay, the CPU is now installed and what I have found is that the CPU and the motherboard um, in particular can only go to 12.5 as a multiplier which can give me uh, a maximum of 1320 megahertz which is uh, a great uh, overclock from 12 1.2 gigahertz however I have a, a buddy of mine on ICQ and uh, he has one at 1.5 gigahertz that's a, a good jump from 1.2 to 1.5 so that will be something that I will be looking forward to however he does not have the same board that I know he has a ASUS A7V motherboard and the multiplier with the latest BIOS on that motherboard uh, gives him a more successful overclock. So I'm looking forward to maybe ABIT releasing a new beta BIOS which would give the, uh, you the option to have a higher multiplier uh, therefore giving you a higher overclock on this CPU. Something else I should note, uh, at this speed uh, 1320 megahertz uh, prime 95 done does run successful uh, for hours upon end so very stable and the voltage is actually at a 1.92 volts uh, I do have the modification to this mother motherboard the resistor uh, modification uh, however I doubt that you would actually need it to overclock this 1.2 gigahertz CPU So as you can see here, actually the BIOS is reading this incorrectly. I do believe that this beta, the latest BIOS for the ABIT KT7 RAID motherboard is um, somehow a little screwy with the new 1.2 GHz CPU, uh, the T-Bird CPU, uh, for the fact that I actually have the front side BIOS set setting in the BIOS to 1. Uh, 101, but it's reading a 106 here. And in actuality, when I go in and use the program called uh, WCPUID, it does not read 1325, it reads 1320. So I think that the BIOS is not fully supported uh, for the 1.2 GHz CPU yet. So let's now go into the BIOS itself. And as you can see here, I have the multiplier maxed. It cannot go any further than 12.5, and this reading is 101. However, it's not 101. It's actually um, 105.5-ish because the reading in the um, when I'm in Windows actually reads 1320 and not 13. 25. So it's a little confusing as to what's going on here. Now, the this is this reading is such is because of the voltage modification. If you actually go into the PC Health, you'll see the temperature of the CPU, which is quite warm actually, um, and the voltage, which is at 1.92. Now, 
if you do not have the modification, your voltage will, you'll set it to 1.85, the maximum voltage that you would be able to set it to without the resistor trick to the KT7 RAID. And um, you would get around, actually the actual reading would be something like 1.95. So again, um, you know, you'd certainly be able to go uh, to uh, overclock this 1.2 to at least 1.3, even without the voltage, uh, the resistor trick with the voltage modification. So again, it's a good CPU, certainly, and I'm looking forward to uh, a new BIOS from um, ABIT and uh, for higher with a higher multiplier, I should be able to get this CPU to somewhere at, at least at 1.4 gigahertz. Again, I, as I said before, I have a, a friend who has his at 1.5, and that's using um, that's using that's using a different motherboard. But however, I'm sure that the uh, the 8-bit uh, KT7 RAID would be able to do this as well at 1.5, or if not 1.5, close to it. And he's actually using uh, the maximum 1.5 voltage with no modifications at all to his motherboard, which is the ACES A7B motherboard. And the temperature, as you can see, is a little hot here. Um, surprisingly enough, when you go into Windows, this does drop uh, drastically. Um, when you go, when you do go into Windows, I'm using Windows Millennium, and the the idle temperature is around 36, and the maximum temperature I'm finding with max low is around 50, 55-ish. So um, very reasonable for an AMD, which is overclocked, and the voltage is a little high on it as well. And uh, relatively uh, cheap CPU, it's uh, 450 Canadian. Um, so, but still, it's a lot more than Durons, of course. And if you look at a, um, an equal CPU. A Pentium 4, or even a well, Pentium 4s are not such an issue these days because of the motherboard support. But the Pentium 3s, of course, are very expensive. I believe a one point a one gigahertz uh, Intel chip will cost you around I don't know 600 or 700 dollars. So it's a very reasonable price. And doing SciSoft benchmarks, um, this is actually much higher than the Pentium 4. So um, again, this is a fantastic CPU at an excellent uh, price advantage. Again, 450 Canadian. I give this CPU um, a 10 out of 10. It's an excellent CPU. Fast, very affordable. Um, you know, and uh, again, it's, it's, it's very practical for a lot of applications. Gaming, um, any kind of uh, Word, spreadsheets, and so on and so forth. So, I'm going to sum up this review with a rating. So, to sum up this video review, I give this uh, AMD T-Bird 1.2 GHz a 10 out of 10. It's an excellent CPU, great price. So again, 10 out of 10 for this uh, 1.2 GHz CPU from AMD. Again, my name is Rodney Reynolds, and this has been another video review. Please visit, visit me at www.thevideogeek.com, and next week we'll have a brand new video review.